We are missing one board member. We kind of expect him to show up, but we'll start without him. Uh, we have two applications tonight. Um, and I think we have all the applicants here, um, uh, including our zoning administrator, who is also the acting applicant for our first application. Yes. Let me just ask everybody in terms of testimony in this board meeting tonight on either one of these cases, please raise your right hand. And you swear to tell the truth, not the truth, of the uh, penalties of perjury? I do. I do. Thank you. So, um, first application is Several Mont Chamber of Commerce and the Burlington Public uh, Works Board. That's for a waiver uh, for a pump station. For a side yard setback. Thank you, Mr. Yes, Chairman. Yes, yep. So I've, I've got a map here of, of the project that. And, and I, I, I need to explain. Uh, in, 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 in openness, uh, that I have discussed this application with the zoning administrator, who I didn't realize was going to be the applicant, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't think it um, will interfere with my ability to make a judgment against him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as the, I've, for a couple of years now, I've been the staff for the Berlin Public Work Board, and um, one of their initiatives is to look at bringing. Can I just ask you to wait yep. until Shane joins us? Hi, Good evening, Shane. Uh, sorry, I had to help clear a tree out of the road to get here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are quick. dedicated. I came early, and now I'm late. <laughs> you brought your chains all with you? She's no, the neighbor was there with that. Um, so, the um, one of the initiatives that the, the Berlin Public Work Board is is uh, taking on right now is to bring gravity sewer service from the intersection of 62 and Payne Turpike North north to the intersection of Fis Fisher Road and Payne Turpike North. Um, there's currently no gravity, no, no uh, service, uh, sewer service from about this point on the map down to that point on the map. Um, in August of 2018, the town voted a $2.2 million bond initiative to get this work done. And what this, this work does, it eliminates several um, uh, very aged infrastructure, current infrastructure pieces. Uh, right now on this section of town, on the south side of 62, uh, it's serviced by gravity lines and goes to a pump station behind the the 802 Honda the pump station is about 40 years old. It's a force main through some wetlands here, through this section goes to a manhole, which then gets conveyed down. Uh, there is a, uh, the, the school has a pump station here, um, and uh, it's, uh, I believe it's 25 years old. Force main goes through this wetland over to uh, manhole at the, at, the, at the mall. The fire station has a relatively newer uh, municipal pump station that pumps down to this section um, and connects to the, to the uh, school force main. And over here there's a private pump station which is earmarked to be replaced in the next 12 months and it's shared by Northfield Savings Bank, Chamber of Commerce, and with superior development for these properties here that, that they are developing. Uh, the, the plan for this, um, this system will eliminate all of those pump stations here. And what we're asking to is to add a new pump station on the Chamber of Commerce property. And we're looking, asking the Development Review Board to grant a uh, waiver to the side setback. Um, uh, basically, if you look at this drawing here, it's so we can really stay as much out of the chamber's paved area and not tear that up. Uh, um, so that's really the main focus of us asking for this uh, this setback requirement. Our original plans were, um, I'll, I'll get into this, but it, for a couple reasons, um, the main one is financial. Uh, Ideally, we would like to have taken this whole top area of town by gravity sewer down to a, um, uh, this is the City of Montpelier's water treatment plant down here. 
They have a siphon system down, uh, down here that they send their wastewater from their uh, water treatment process. For various reasons, um, we would generate too, mu too much solids for that to, uh, um, it's, a, it's a double uh, siphon system and we just thought there was going to be too much maintenance. Uh, so the grand scheme, if, if we're all around here in the future, would be to take, take it through gravity, and this connects over here, then down uh, into the city of line to a manhole down here at the, at the city. That would eliminate all pump stations up in this area. You may or may not know that all uh, uh, municipal sewage that's controlled by the town of Berlin goes to a main pump station on Route 302 down there, um, about where the old taco building was down there. So all of the town's wastewater goes through that pump station. It in itself is 40 plus years old. Um, we really would, would have liked to have taken this volume out, off of that pump station just to help helps with its longevity, but financially it didn't make sense. Um, so what we're, what we're asking for on this project um, is on this, this diagram here is this is 62 by gravity of uh, sewer, sewage wastewater will be conveyed uh, down through via uh, manholes and they will we'll put a pump station on this on the property a uh, uh, valve vault and this, this will be a, uh, a generator up on this parking space up in here to service this in case there's any power outages this then will be conveyed by uh, by force main up to a manhole just off outside the psych psychiatric hospital so that's the that's the project in a nutshell. Not that it's materials application. Are you using the same force main? Or no, you have to replace it. We're gonna replace that force main. Yeah. <clears throat> is this the only property that this is affecting? Uh, well, if what it does, it'll. I mean, we're bringing sewer service from all these properties, so they'll have a. You know, uh, I just meant it, from the setback part of it. For, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Just yeah. that property, yes. Yep. This is actually going to be the only structure above ground. All this is going to be uh, at at or below grade, except the generator. The generator will be above ground. Well, the the, the pump station itself will be below ground. It will be. The mm -hmm. valve vault will be below ground. Will be. Oh, I see. And the generator is more than 15 feet from the side, from the... Yes, yep. So don't, the only part that will be within the setback requirement will be underground? Correct. Okay. Our waiver requirements um, and waiver process is on page 422 of our ordinance. Um, and it asks us to address... Um, uh, really four issues, which the applicant, uh, a.k.a. zoning inspector, has addressed. <laughs> surprise, 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 surprise. Um, he and his texting providers with. But um, let me just ask you a paraphrase. Yes. Uh, uh, first, a, um, a reference to specific dimensional standards and regulation the applicant is requesting a waiver from? We are section 2106D5, the side setback uh, in this uh, residential zoning district is 15 feet minimum. Uh, we are asking, uh, per the regulations, uh, section 20. 4502 allows the DRB to prove a 50% setback of that uh, to seven and a half feet. And I didn't pick up on this, but the setback only pertains to the low ground facilities? It, this is all, yes, correct. Okay. And, but only for this property or, because elsewhere you're going to be within, you're going to be with the highway right away, aren't you? We're going down the highway right away. Yep. 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 There was, at one time we talked about other alternates, uh, alternatives, but through archaeological and wetlands and all that stuff, it just was, 
end of the day, going down the town right away was most economical. It seems yeah. most direct. It, it does, but it's it's cheaper to go. You're not if you don't have to dig up pavement, replace it. It's you know, but then you're dealing with easements and all that. So. And Tom and I had this conversation, so again to be open. Um, He's requesting a variance from the uh, waiver from the side yard setback. The question is, this really has two front yards. It had this this lot mm -hmm. has frontage on two different roads, so does it have a does it have a backyard or side yard? And <laughs> the definitions clearly say when you have two frontages on roads, you have only side yards. Either you're in frontage or side yard. <laughs> it was it was considered a rear. What's the, is it the different yeah. side? It is. Yes, it would, yeah. It, it would, it, the waiver would have to be something considerably less. But that's not the case um, in the side yard. So. Um, uh, the next criteria is that the development, um, uh, let's see again. Ah. Let me that follow me. Right place? No, I'm not. Yeah. Waiver is on. Yeah. Well, I don't know, I'm trying to correlate yeah, what, you, what you wrote with what they have here. It was a proposed land will not substantially permanently impair the lawful use of development of adjacent property. Where's where's that in here? Right there. Ah. Okay, all right. Let's send this. We have standards and we have tables. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. And it will. Uh, the, the, the proposed development will not really alter the essential, the essential uh, character of the area. Um, so there's a. It's a wastewater pump station vault, um, and those are those are below ground. Uh, the, uh, there's a generator and a service panel, which are pretty common units uh, throughout this area. I believe Northfield Savings Bank has one. Um, the, the school has one. Um, there are numerous examples of of generators, uh, above ground generators. This will be a, a sound attenuated diesel generator that we're looking to put in here. Um, um, so, I don't think um, it'll cause any concern with 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 the uses of the the neighboring and of, of, of the of the area. It's on a fairly busy road there, Paint Turnpike North. Um, is it visible on the road? Is or what will it visible? Be uh, there'll be these rows. Of, there's trees here now, like there's trees here. but they'll, most, but these will be gone, and we will plant trees uh -oh. back in through here. This is this is all below ground. You'll see. Just that generator. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be in the building, right? Generator building. It'll be in the sound attenuated. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Tom, where the where this is, where the these two structures will be, the pump station and the valve vault. Yes. What is there now, right in that spot? Uh, two trash containers and a concrete pad, and they're they're going to be placed right in front of the generator. Okay, and in front and, and so um, did it, would, did you look into the possibility of putting, since it, <coughs> since it's underground? Did you look into the possibility of locating those outside of the setback area? We did, and, and the chamber was pretty adamant this the new paving here. Uh, that we will disturb some of the pavement as part of this project, and they were comfortable with our remediation of that. But on the go forward, they would just rather not have to have any traffic over their over their pavement. So we tried to make make it as pavement friendly as we as we could. So is it? Is it I mean, you wouldn't be able to put this in a parking lot and just drive over it because it's underground, and you you, you can't be. You, you could no, you, could. you absolutely could. Again, it was their preference their requirement <laughs> of, of us not being on their pavement or under their pavement under their pavement yeah yeah yep. I think I mean from a maintenance standpoint if there is ever an issue you have to dig up pavement to get to it so. yeah 
Well, you have to maintain those vaults and the, the pump stations routinely, so yes. you have to have access, full access yeah. to it. A man cover or something. Yep. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. It's, think of it as these covers as a, as when you drive down a street and you see a, a, a sewer manhole, it's basically what it is. Other questions? The, um, uh, will not the public the, the, the proposed development will not be detrimental to public health, safety, and welfare. Um, I, I, my opinion is it, it will only enhance public safety and welfare. It, it eliminates these three aged infrastructures, some of them going through sensitive wetland areas, um, to a much more uh, energy efficient and shorter. Shorter run, the, the uh, it'll actually go down the down uh, the town right of way and into a manhole here. Uh, so the distance is significantly less than any of our our pump stations here. Um, so I, I believe it's going to improve the the the, uh, uh, the health and safety of the, the town. These are actually getting removed. You said this piping. It won't be removed. It'll be abandoned. What the what they do is is you, cap the you ends. clean them out as best you can, then you cap the ends. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, and I only want to venture a guess on the quality of that piping. Neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, lastly, the proposed land development is beneficial or necessary for continued reasonable use of the property. Again, uh, the, 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 who benefits from this are the sewer users. It's, it's the fee-based uh, sewer system here. It's not tax-based, tax it's, it's uh, user-based. So who benefits is, is really the, the customer base of which the, the Central Vermont Chamber of Commerce is, is, is a customer, they're a current customer of, of, of the town, town of Berlin. Um, uh, in the long run, I believe all these properties along this road uh, benefit from having, a, and I have this drawing here, I, if you wanna see it, but uh, we put water in 2016, now putting sewer in 2019, I believe that adds significant values to properties on, on either side of that. And in turn, adds to the town's grand list, which, which helps all taxpayers in the town of Berlin. But, but you, as you pointed out, the Chamber of Commerce is a customer, so in that sense it is beneficial to they, them. They are, yeah. Because of, yeah. They, they would device. like to get out of the sewage pumping business. As it, you know, they have, you know, you have responsibilities when it's your own pump station. Mm -hmm. um, other uh, questions, comments? The notice was given to the adjoining landowners. That they, yes, and this is part of the. The, the uh, Burke Farm, Burke Farm. Yeah. So they had notice of this. Yep. Yep. You'll probably get to this traffic during construction. Yeah, this uh, will have uh, likely be because um, we're going to go right down the road. We're, we're going to have one-way traffic as as you control it. You know. Is there a time frame? How long do you expect it to take? We hope to begin construction yet this fall, which will work on this lower end mm -hmm. and then work our way up. Um, uh, it, was in, it was an interesting piece of engineering. Uh, I'll, I, I'll diverge a little bit. So, so the, the tricky piece from the timing was this Route 62 crossing. It's, it's a limited access highway. You can't dig a highway. Um, um, so you may recall that our, uh, when we did our water line, we pushed a, a conduit piece of pipe underneath that, that, uh, uh, underneath that, that road. Um, we were hoping it came to, to fruition that, that that piece of pipe was a, was a grade that was, you know, like this, that will allow gravity sewer. 
So we're actually going to we're going to relocate our water line and bring it across here and, and save that sleeve for our sewer line. So we don't, you, you know, it's maybe a 50-50 chance of doing that again. So uh, I don't know if that answered your question, but I thought it was pretty cool how we, how we got around that. Yeah. <laughs> I I always thought setbacks as being um, not required, but be, but useful to create some separation between buildings to you know allow neighbors not to bump into the neighbors all too often. And, and at first blush, I'd say, well, this is all in the ground, so it's not covered by the setback rules. But I guess it is a structure. It is yeah. a structure. Structure includes underground um, things that are built underground, so I guess it is yeah. all within the setback. Yeah, that's new to these regulations. Yeah. I always felt it was a problem with our old regulations. Somebody could put a gas tank okay. right, right, next to you, right next to your property line mm -hmm. uh, without regard to setback. Um, uh, could put the, the septic tank next to your property line, put their leach field right next to your property line. There are other rules that govern leach fields, right? Yep. Um, it just struck me as it was weird and it was added this time around. Um, I do think that, in hindsight, probably a waiver of a, a waiver, there should have been a, a, a broader scope of waiver for these kind of fixtures. I was going to say, you think, we, I guess we don't want to think about public, because public utilities, it seems like there should be some sort of... No, I think, I think, I was looking for it, it wasn't it in was, here, uh, yeah, yeah. and what yeah. I really think we need is some kind of of a overview, yeah, yeah. It's underground structure. Um, as long as we recognize it's there, it's permitted. Um, we should be able to waive the distance if, if it's appropriate. Yeah. Um, so. Um, yeah, we have to think about that one. Okay. So. We're visiting the regulations, so we're thinking about them as we go along. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, any other comments or questions for the applicant? So. Anything else you want to add, Tom? No. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Motion been made and seconded to close the hearing. Is there discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Who's switched chairs? Thank you. 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 Thank for a final plan review of a minor, minor four lot residential subdivision. Yep. New map. New map. Not really a new map. Not really a new map. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in, so I'm going to subdivisions. Right? I, I did. I did. Um, everybody's going to testify that I have been sworn in. What page is that, Mr. Chairman? It's uh, 353. These are the standards. There's a, another section on the procedure, but there's the standards that we're interested in. And uh, because they're slightly different, they're the same standards, but there's, you know, the different orders of what's. We, um, you may recall we recently had a minor subdivision that we, we went through. Um, uh, we have to, you know, decide whether the criteria is applicable. If it is, does this application, as it, you know, came before us before, meet those criteria? And, um, but before I do that, let me just ask the applicant, do um, you have any comments with regard to this application we should be aware of? I don't believe so, no. no. I think we're good. <clears throat> Tom, anything you want to add to? No, uh, uh, it's just a clerical error that why we're here, I think. Okay. And so the, the criteria, uh, some of these standards, are suitability of the land. Well, I should say, first of all, capacity of the, um, this is, I'm reading 3502. Um, what page you want to vote? I'm on page 363. And um, it asks us to consider the capacity of the community okay. facilities and utilities, uh, local school, police, road, parks, recreation facilities, water supply, and solid waste disposal facilities. And um, uh, you addressed these before. Is there anything that we need to know here? I mean, we, we know that this is not a town road issue. No, and we have, as I said, we have a, a, a letter of intent from the state of Vermont. Which they seem to be happy with the with the application. Chief Wolf, I got a, 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 a another notice from him, a review. And he didn't have any concerns with it. I did not hear back from uh, Chief Dufresne on the on the fire piece of it. And water and wastewater is, is um, um, individual. Or in the which have been, been been approved by the state of Vermont. I did notice that in the plans here, it says, it says, it says I have to say revised 4319 by WSC to change lot number six to a four bedroom design. Yep. Yep. And yet, if I look at this document from the state, it says lot number six. Is it for, is for construction of a three-bedroom single-family residence? Yes, we must have a, maybe that's one. Is more uh, going to be a newer permit than that one? This is March fourteenth of nineteen. Well, that's pretty new. Uh, I'm sorry, that, that's the one the town clerk got it. Uh, Carl, this is uh, March 7th of 19. This is April 18th. This, this one's been filed. So this, I think this is it. What's the last page, Richard? That's where Carl's signature is, you know, on this one. Yeah. March April, April 18th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So this has so been updated this way? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to make a copy. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, just eagle eyes. Just. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say about give a monkey, give a monkeys enough time, they could, uh, <laughs> enough, enough days they could write the works of Shakespeare. It just takes long enough. Eventually you'll see something. Does anybody <laughs> want a copy of this? No. Nope. <clears throat> the, um, so no issues with regard to the cash. Josh, we'll give that back if you want to just verify what there is on that, yes. The, 
um, Just for the record, that water and wastewater already is 3505C. So we were just talking about the capacity of the community and did not affect, does not, right. pointing out, does not affect uh, municipal water, municipal sewer. Okay, here's the other page. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, next criteria is suitability of the land. One of the sub criteria is the subject of periodic flooding and drainage problems. We do know parts of the problem, parts of the project are within the 100 year flood plane. But all the development that's been proposed is above the 100 year flood. Section 3504, design and configuration of parcel boundaries. Um, and there's a number of sub criteria here. Do, does anybody feel I need to go through these? I only had, I'm not sure if this is the place for it or not in regards to the proposed drive. Mm -hmm. I don't remember back to the original. Um, thinking about people exiting the property at nighttime with lights going against the other way of the traffic. Were, were you, did we talk about um, the planting of shrubs or anything like that to stop that? No. I, I don't think that's going to be the case because you're actually, it's going to be down. It's quite a bit of difference in elevation. Quite a bit of elevation difference. So they'd be coming up to pull out? Yeah, oh yeah. So the lights would be pointing up to the sky yeah. versus yeah. up the oh, okay. well, 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 like, you know, when they come down the actual driveway, uh, you know, you're going to be down, you know, going parallel to it anyway. Yeah. So the, well, only, the, the only time that I you're going to exit. Yeah. 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 So exiting right. for, the, for the people coming this way. Yeah, I think it's just like any other driveway. When someone drives out, you know, you're going to be pointing your, your headlights somewhere out there. I don't, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. But that's just, I think that that. I just couldn't remember if we talked about it. I, 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 again, the state has issued an LOI on it. Um, they're, they're all over that kind of stuff. And they were, when I talked to um, uh, McAvoy, um, he, he was pretty happy there was a single entry. And oh, yeah. He, he, sure he, <laughs> he, he, he turned this around in two days where he thought it was going to take four weeks, and he was, he was pretty happy with it. Yeah, there's no question that. Um, uh, Having a single entry for four lots is um, to obviously everyone's advantage. It's certainly the traveling public, so Absolutely. impact on the road, which we'll discuss later, is is, is minimalized. Um, uh, the um, I, I see no problems with this. I, you know, What's I, the I, minimum I, road frontage? Or do we not count that on this? Pardon? We do. Lot frontage? It, it, it meets it. It's uh, RL 40, 120 feet, I think. Right, so you must be looking at the one where it's got like, the narrow one. The curve. The curve. Yeah, it got the curve. Remember we had that last time. Yeah. None of the, these spaces haven't changed. For, and no, we haven't changed. That. But our standards have changed. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, the frontage less. didn't change. Front did not change? No, it's uh, 120 feet. Yeah. Okay. That's what we used last time. Um, the um, lot dimensions. Uh, and again, this is where you're going, meets the frontage requirements and so forth. Um, uh, I don't see any problems with this. I, I'm not sure how to address it in terms of findings. Um, still grappling with how to address the ordinance here. Um, generally, the lot lines are right angular. I just don't, you know, don't see. I see. I think, you know, in general, in my opinion, it applies with the requirements of lot dimensions. Yeah, that's we're trying to avoid those sort of long, skinny lots. Re relatively square. Yeah. 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 Kind of 
and also the flag type lots, you know, yes. which have a narrow frontage and yes. give yeah. the acreage that they stir all over the place. And, mm -hmm. um, one lot obviously does have a fair amount of uh, lot number one. What number? Six. No, the first no one. it's uh, three. Oh, three, yeah. Three. Three. Yeah. Has a fair amount of property out behind, but uh, it's not necessarily meet acreage requirements, it's just the way they've, they've done it. Yeah. Um, so. Um, you provided building envelopes on each yeah. one of the uh, lots, uh, which is criteria 3504C, uh, and identified the area which building can be built. Um, you do show a building location per se, but is that kind of where you're thinking about building them? I think for the most part, you know, the layout of the land, we want to, you know, I don't want everybody to line right up. So doing them setback kind yeah. of a little bit makes it look kind of nice. Um, it needs trees. <laughs> the property needs trees. It's, yes, well, there's nothing there. We, we do get to landscaping here in about a minute. So, <laughs> uh, but right now, uh, we're talking about the design layout of necessary improvements. And I think the only improvement that's common to these lots is the, uh, the road, the access road. Uh, it does not uh, serve um, more than three lots, in my opinion. So it does not need to meet road standards. Is that how you read the ordinance, Tom? Mm, no, that's a curveball to me, Bob. Yeah. I, maybe I, I didn't. I don't, know. I don't know the answer to that. I was wondering about that too. Um, there's, the access serves more than three lots, but the road that serves four, five, and six is only three lots. Is yeah. only three lots. So um, yeah. I interpret that road does not does not need to meet town road standards. That's really what that makes sense. Well, however, if we built it to town road standards, would you maintain it? No, <laughs> <laughs> only, only if you get it accepted. There we go. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, I'll speak for the select board. <laughs> 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 no, um, uh, but they do, they do insist that private roads do meet town road standards. Uh, uh, we do have a number of private roads that don't. Uh, so, um, I, I, but that begs the question because we've talked about it in the past. Is there a maintenance agreement on this this driveway with these individual lots? I would hope so. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to have a maintenance agreement in the end. Yeah. It's good if it's in the deed. If it's in. Well, right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, it have to be. I mean. Yeah. Well, people don't always look at no. it that way. Yeah. <laughs> but it should so that any. Yeah, all four part, 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 all four parties yeah. should be part of the maintenance agreement. Yeah. Yeah. They may want to be written differently because one lot is using less. Yeah, yeah. less. Uh, sure. Nothing but the entrance way, but there's still the entrance way to be maintained. So, right. so would that be a condition of any permit here? It would be. You're, you're ahead of me because okay, it's sorry. further down in here. Sorry. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I think um, uh, this really deals with road design okay. per se. Mm -hmm. um, but um, design and construction standards and trees, trees on the road and stuff like that. Um, next criteria is bicycle and pedestrian facilities. And I, I'm guessing you're not not planning for any bicycle and best pedestrian facilities per se. No. Okay, so this project. No. Nope. Uh, would not applicable be appropriate? I think not applicable. Okay. Not applicable. <coughs> water and wastewater, and that goes back to what we were talking about before. And you have received state approval for individual water and wastewater facilities. Yeah. Um, you're. Um, Platt is going to make reference to easements. Yes. Not only for the road, but also for, I noticed a couple it's of septic. wastewater yeah. septic systems are right. kind of yeah, sharing really boundary lines. <laughs> yeah. I think there's just one, just lot four, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, so, um, any questions, comments with regard to water waste water? Firefighting facilities. Not applicable. No. Public and private utilities. Again, I would say that's not applicable. Mm -hmm. Landscaping is applicable. But you, you don't have a landscaping plan presented. 
No, we don't because we don't know what the folks are going to want on their, on their individual lots. You know, when we when we when we build a house for them, you know, some people might want cedar hedge. You know, some people might want maple trees. So you're not planning any landscaping per se with regard to the project. Yeah, we're really not right now. It's going to be individual. Ind individually sold lots. Yet yeah, we, we're going to build a house on each one for somebody, yeah. and then they'll. What's the distance between the proposed? Gravel Drive and Route 12, or the paved part of Route 12. I, I, I thought it's, we just went through that with the uh, with the power pole. Is it 50 feet? Yeah, I think it is. So here it is. At its closest part point, it's about 38 feet mm -hmm. from the road itself. Yep, from the yeah. pavement itself. Not from the right away, but right. I'm yeah. trying to remember. Does it dip down there? What, what's the what's is it flat terrain? What's the terrain like? Kind of the well, you can see it kind of drops down as it, the further it goes yeah. this way. Yeah. yeah, that road will be below Route 12 yeah. grade. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, that would be yeah. if the lower point is probably be about 10 foot difference. Yeah, yeah, it might be that much. Yeah. But that would be a logical place to put a few some trees right in that in that buffer zone, basically, if you could. <laughs> That's a great comment. <laughs> 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 you say that I was going to pay attention. No, that's okay. That's what I was asking if we talked about that or not last time. I see. That specific spot. <laughs> no, I appreciate you bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a recommendation here? I would. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I mean, that's. That land is not going to be, I mean, it's owned by the, each of the people's lot, individual lots, but it's, but it, they're not going to pay much attention to that land because it's uh, separated on the other side of the gravel, gravel thing. So basically, that doing something consistent along that road right there and that along that would be, it would enhance everyone's value and it wouldn't affect really the specifics. At least that's the way I look at it. I think there's some benefit to having some. Well, I, I, I must this, this so. If we're at a grade difference, so it starts off at about five to seven feet, and we end up at between 12 and 15 feet from the road down, right. what are we going to build there? What are we going to put there? Like that's already you know grown, and that's going to you know. Well, it's it's, it's something's going to grow there. So it's either going to be mowed, or it's going to in which case it's not, or it's just going to grow and brush, and just brush is going to grow up, and then that just going to continue to. Whatever grows there is going to grow there. I mean, I mean, so, eventually, is what, you know. So if we if we were to plant trees there now, it's going to be many years before they grow. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, I, I can't see. I guess if you looked at the property, you'd see what I mean. It's it's going to. Well, be I drive by it almost every day, but I can't. Yeah. But awesome. yeah, but I don't. Uh, but I don't have a big, right now a strong visual idea. But I know it drops down some because it's. Well, I think what would be planted would, would depend on what the purpose. Are you thinking of shielding lights, or are you just thinking of visual? Yeah, it wouldn't shield lights much because the lights yeah. shield the other direction this way. So, so you're yeah. thinking like a crown vetch on that slope because it won't be maintained. You'll say it'll just be, or you're thinking some, a more woody structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. The problem here. So you don't want to block the. the would you be blocking the. The vision? The, yeah. Well, if I were any one of those houses, I would want probably a row of maples or. I would choose maples as opposed yeah, to yeah. softwood. But, um, yeah, some, it'd probably have to be salt. Some, well, it, not that much salt put down at 12, but they, you know, it has to be something that's fairly resistant to road. I would think stuff. as a developer that. I would build my, my, my tree lane on this side of the driveway, not on the road side of the driveway. Yeah. So it could be part of their, you know, yeah. you know part of them. I think that's, yeah. not a bad, that's not a bad point. I probably were laying it out. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, certainly the first couple of houses would want to screen not only the road, but also the, the, the common drive sure. from yeah. their view. Yeah. But everybody has their own preferences. That's that's what I'm getting to is that they really do. It's crazy. Some people, you know, want rose bushes all around their house and and yeah. We're not talking about commercial industrial buildings. We're talking about residential structures. I, you know, um, yeah. I'm, I'm not inclined to go there. 
I'll refer to the board. My, my concern was lights, but if that's not an issue, then... Yeah, because they'd be going the opposite, traffic would be going, right, traffic coming this way, and driveway going that way. Well, if you're going southbound and somebody's leaving yeah. the drive, the lights would be yeah. pointed at each other from right. the opposite side. That's what I mean. But if that's not going to, that wouldn't probably make any difference at that point, so. Okay. I, I don't think we need the, to. The description of the property layout from the applicant. And again, the state of Vermont right. looked at this. I, I, to this detail, I don't know, but they, they are pretty, they're pretty good when they review their applications. And the reality is, you're really not talking about a lot of traffic on that package no. drive. And that's, I think, is the primary consideration here. Um, okay. In fact, I would suggest to you that probably there's probably more glare that comes from the parking lot by the winery <laughs> yeah. than there will be here. Not that we had any jur 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 jurisdictional control over the winery, but that's the same point. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, if we impose a requirement for some landscaping there, would you have a strong objection? Well, I, I don't know if we'd have a strong objection. I mean, as long as we're on the same page, it, you know, because it does come down to, you know, money. I mean, if we're going to be planting maples, we've got to plant some nice ones. So I don't know. I mean, it's really I, mean I, I, I agree with James in that I think that's really up to the individual person. We're, they're, we're, they're, we're selling them the home a lot. Let's discuss what they want for landscaping at that point. I hate to tell somebody what they have to have. It's a brand new house that they're dreaming about and having us build. Well, the primary concern I would have is, is it's going to be on individually you own private lots. And any tree you plant is subject to maintenance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's people, that's that side of the road, they're most of the people who own those lots aren't going to consider that their right. in practical purposes. They're going to consider that part of the town right away. Right. They're not exactly. going to consider it part of any. That, any. So they're not going to do anything with it. They're just going to sit there. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe just put it in and crown vetch on that slope. Richard, are you shaking your head or you don't think that makes no, sense? No, no. Yeah. I, I mean, that's easy. It's, 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 crown it's, a, it's like a ground cover. Yeah. You know, it takes really knocks down any weeds and but it won't it won't impede people seeing your no. house or no. Well, seeing yeah, the road or, no. or road noise or anything else no. like that. It's usually used for hard to mow areas. Right. And so that like makes that. sense. I mean it's very that's pretty inexpensive to put that yeah, in. Yeah it is. It's just, it's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just makes some consistency there. It would probably make the, enhance all the properties as opposed to just letting whatever grows grows there. But you know you, you because it's not going to be maintained. Whatever no, is planted there, correct. Is going to be, nobody's going to mow over there. Nobody's no. going to take care of it. I know that's anything. what that's the beauty of ground vetch. It yeah. self seeds and it just. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we done with the landscaping? I'm all set. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Road control. Um, I think probably we do have a roof to code standards and our bylaws that are outlined in uh, section 3210. Um, and uh, that would be a requirement, I think, of uh, whatever you do. It has to deal primarily with, with constructing the site, which is the road. Um, and we'll be referencing that. Stormwater management, uh, I don't think that's applicable. Do you have any plans for stormwater management? Well, we had no. We had no uh, Assuming of the slope, the water just goes runs to the south. The Dog River. Yeah, just between <laughs> exactly. where the driveway will be exactly. and the ditch from the road is just going to naturally run that way. Well, the thing is, it's not going to be a large amount of purpose area. Right. Yeah, so right, right, right. So it's the residents, whatever side buildings they have, out yeah. they have in the driveway. Um, The, um, I'm not familiar with the next one to me at all. Monuments and lot corners? Oh, yeah. Markers? No, I, uh, yeah, that's, uh, 
the applicant must install. That's that's part of the subdivision regulations. Uh, uh, so uh, Rick will be responsible for installing the markers when he's done. I assume you have not done that yet. Oh yeah, they're done. They're they're in yep. they're in place already. Yeah. Um, and. This is where the construction and maintenance of necessary improvements and that's establishment of an owner's, item number four under that criteria, yes. is establishment of an owner's association or similarly illegally enforceable mechanism for, I think, in this case here, uh, maintaining the road. Do you want to see that prior to that language, that will be deed language prior to issuance of a permit? The applicant's choice is which way he does it. So I think we need to see what you intend to do. Either put it in the deeds. Yeah, we have to put it in the deeds. That's or normal. well, you could have a separate agreement, uh, which becomes a contract. I think you're better. I personally think you're better off in this case than the deeds. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I would just suggest seeing that up front because if a permit get issued and you know yeah. dotting I's and crossing T's after the fact is not a necessarily a good thing. You okay with that? So it's going to be contingent on that, or we have to give it to you before you'll approve? No, it'll be contingent. In other words, we won't have another hearing on this matter. We just have to get you the you word. Need to, you need to provide us with a copy of what you're going to do. Okay. That, and presumably you'll satisfy um, 305J4, which is it will be a legally enforceable yeah. right. uh, sharing of responsibility for it. Awesome, yeah. Excellent. I think it's a good idea to do that anyway. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, people will be cursing your names later on if you don't. I hear it all the time, these nightmares <laughs> going on. I'm on the road right now, I'm watching and we're working, and these people have got issues yeah. and potholes and yelling at each other. Well, yeah, that issue too, but it's called a state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Route 12. Route 12. anything. This was a tough year. Yeah, it was The character of the, end of the area and settlement pattern. And I think it's compatible with the character of the area. And soil preservation. Um, and this um, uh, speaks to stockpile and topsoil. And we may remove. Um, make a reasonable effort to repair any soil compact compaction prior to seeding. I'm not sure how we deal with that. We can make conditional. Would you have more? That mainly be used for the road? No, no, no this, this, this is for any construction. For any construction. <laughs> the applicants tend to do the construction of these homes. But that's not always the case. No. But, I mean, yeah, I mean the, ordinance, yeah. the ordinance requires it, so I think probably we'll, we need to make reference to the section of the ordinance that says must comply with provision mm -hmm. 3507. Yeah. And you need sense. to familiarize yourself with that provision, which is, I think, standard operating procedure today. Yeah, you mean that most of the excavators have been doing it for 30 years, probably not. Yeah. 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 Not too many people do throw away topsoil. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for money. <laughs> not for what it costs. Matter of fact, I'm looking for about a yard and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know we're someplace in Rikingville, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a mountain out there with your name on it. <laughs> yeah. Also, anyone. Um, so, uh, any comments or questions by the board members? No. Nope. We are not covered on. Any further comments by the applicant? Uh, we just appreciate your help. I'm sorry we had to go through this again. <laughs> no. Well, it wouldn't be such a problem, but it's a different set of regulations. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Uh, otherwise, we'd just said simply redo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I make a motion to adjourn. Close, or, close, 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 close the board yeah. portion of the hearing. And the motion made and seconded by Shane. Uh, what was the one portion of the hearing? I should be using names to help out our recording secretary. Um, apologize, Christy. Um, <laughs> uh, any uh, discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And the hearing is closed, and we thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And so we'll, we'll get that right, right away, too. Just come up and give it to you, Tom. Yep. We're working for that. We'll get our lawyer to wrap it up tomorrow. And we'll get it right in.
Thank you. And obviously, we're, we continue our deliberations sure. um, after this is over, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that, whatever we come up with. Uh, tradition, but we'll be looking at these new bylaw regulations and referencing them uh, where appropriate as in sites such as soil preservation. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> Both have a great night. You too. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we go to the little recession, uh, uh, we have one other item on our agenda, which is the approval of the minutes of our last meeting, which was a month and a half ago, yeah. <laughs> April 16th. Um, I don't remember if I shared with board members, but I did share with um, Zoning Administrator and Christy, our Recording Secretary, my comments on that. Did I share them with them? It's been too long, I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. 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 I had to take a nap before I got here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I had a number of, of edits, which um, I, I actually, what it is, I, I did an edit of the um, oh. unapproved minutes, and it really has to do with. Um, uh, and you probably none of you have your copy of your minutes with you. Um, but it really was clarifying what was applicable, what was not applicable. Um, and in those cases where it was applicable, uh, making like, for instance, the, and we're talking about the same criteria we're talking about here tonight. So, um, lot dimensions uh, meets district standards, is what I suggest we yeah. say. Okay. You know? okay. um, uh, Water and wastewater, on-site water and wastewater have been approved by the state. Yeah. So I asked her to include that kind of language. Mm -hmm. And and in some of these, I in fact, I, now I look at it, I probably I erred. Um, soil preservation, I see not applicable. Actually, in that case, it really wasn't. Yeah. That was just a two-lot subdivision. Yeah. One lot's already developed. Yeah, because that was, oh yeah, that was Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, anybody who wants to copy of this, I'll be glad to forward it to them. Um, but I would move that we make the changes. It's also the. Um, uh, move that I, we approve I, the minutes as amended. Would you like that motion? I would like that motion. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for instance, on, on Jeff Blow's, um, she had the wrong terminology. It's, it's the key did concrete block is what he was proposing to use for the retaining wall. Right. Jim Bond. Jim, Jim Bond. 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 Not Jeff Bond. You really did change his name. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew it was Jim Blow. Um, so, uh, we have a motion, a yeah. second, to approve the minutes as amended. Uh, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.